it's Addie, and today we are watching The Princess Bride. I'm excited to watch this movie. I, I feel like this will probably become one of my favorite movies of all time. I just feel like this is something that I'm really going to enjoy, so I'm excited to watch it. I hope I'm not walking into it with too high of hopes. Um, but I'm really excited to finally watch The Princess Bride. It is about time. <coughs> that cough kind of surprised me. I don't know why. <laughs> this is not how I expected this movie to start you feel whatsoever. Your grandfather's here. Pinch my cheek. I hate that. Hey. Huh? Pinch your cheek? Yep, there it is. <laughs> Open it up. A book? That's right. A book? Got any sports in it? Are you kidding? Fighting, torture, revenge, mm -hmm. giants, true love. Doesn't sound too bad. I'll we'll try and stay awake. Thank you very much. It's very nice. Mmm, <laughs> the book right. is The Princess Bride. Okay. The Princess Bride. It's story time. Buttercup was raised on a small farm. Our favorite pastimes were riding a horse and tormenting the farm boy. Nothing gave Buttercup as much pleasure as ordering Wesley around. Polish my horse's saddle. As you wish. As you wish. Was That's all Jenny episode. from Horace Gump, right? I fill these with water. Please. As you wish. She's getting nicer. And he was saying, as you wish, what he meant was, I love you. She truly loved him back. Fetch me that picture. This eye contact. Woo! They're in love. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're in love. What is this? Is this a kissing book? Wait, <laughs> just wait. Maybe, maybe a little bit. Keep your shirt on, let me read. Wesley had no money for marriage, so left the farm to seek his fortune across the sea. But what if something happens to you? I will always come for you. But how can you be sure? This is true love. This is so sweet. And it's only the first five minutes, so something bad is going to happen. When Buttercup got the news that Wesley was murdered. Murdered by pirates is good. She neither slept nor ate. I will never love again. Was he actually murdered? There's no way, because they have to live happily ever after. I shall marry a lady who was once a commoner like yourself, Princess Buttercup. Mm, yeah, it is her. Oh, she looks so happy. Buttercup's emptiness consumed her. She did not love him. I love that his name is Humperdinck. The only joy she found was in her daily ride. <laughs> a word, my lady. Is there a village nearby? There is nothing nearby. Then there will be no one to hear you scream. What? Once the horse reaches the castle, the fabric will make the prince the suspect too. the Gildarians have abducted his love. Um... I've hired you to help me start a war. It's a prestigious <laughs> line of work. Let's not start a war, please. What happens to her is not truly your concern. I will kill her. No more rhymes now, I mean it. Anybody want me to it? They are very good at rhyming. You sure nobody's follow us? That would be inconceivable. I feel like someone's probably following them. Why do you ask? I just happened to look behind us and something is there. <laughs> he thinks someone's following you because someone is following you. Eel infested waters. Oh, oh, get after her! I don't swim. I only eel don't infested, paddle. Right? Yeah! If none of them swim, how are they going to get her? Those are the shrieking eels. Grow louder when they're about to feed on human oh, I flesh. Oh, you're behind her. <laughs> what? Also, do eels shriek? Is that just a shriek? Is that just in this movie? Uh, oh, no, no, no. I don't like this. Yeah, I'd probably swim back to the ship, too. Mm -mm. She doesn't get eaten by the eels at this time. That's good. I'm explaining to you because you look nervous. I'm nervous. I was nervous. He is nervous. Concerned, but that's not the same thing. Mm -hmm. Because you we can stop you now too. if you want. You could read a little bit more. Oh, he's into it. Those are the shrieking eels. Look past that, Grandpa. You read it already. All right, all right. Let's see. Uh, she was in the water. <laughs> you... <laughs> She's just waiting for the narration to start. I think he's getting closer. He's no concern of ours. No concern? I suppose you think you're brave, don't you? There should be some you? concern. Only compared to some. 
is right on top of us. Whoever he is, he's too late. The Cliffs of Insanity! Hurry up! I don't know the backstory of why it's called the Cliffs of Insanity. Oh, we're climbing up the cliffs? I'd be a little nervous. Is he hearing all of them? He's moving pretty quickly. Oh, he's moving pretty quickly too. He's climbing the rope and he's gaining on us. Inconceivable. Oh, they are going to cut the rope. Hope you can climb a little bit faster, buddy. Maybe he can just rock climb really well. Got very good arms. He didn't fall? Inconceivable. <laughs> he really likes this. I don't think it miss what you think it miss. If he falls, fine. If not, the sword. I'm going to do him left handed. It's the only way I can be satisfied. All right. Over to Whitley. You have to have some fun with killing him. You have to get a little practice in. Hello? Hi. Slow going. <laughs> I don't mean to be rude, but this is not as easy as it looks, so I'd appreciate it if you <laughs> wouldn't distract me. I don't know, suppose you've got to spit things up. You could lower a rope or a tree branch or find something useful to do. I could do that. <laughs> I've got some rope up here. How are you going to help him? But I do not think you would accept my help. I promise I will not kill you until you reach the top. That's very comforting. Yeah. But I'm afraid you'll just have to wait. I could give you my word as a Spaniard. I've known too many Spaniards. I swear on the soul of my father, Domingo Montoya, you will reach the top alive. Throw me the rope. Oh, we can trust that. Okay. It's very kind to help him before you kill him. So when do we start well, we'll, we'll, we'll wait until you're ready. Do we get a rest? Oh, <laughs> He's so kind. You don't by any chance happen to have six fingers on your right hand? My father was slaughtered by a six-fingered man. Okay, we're good. The six-fingered man slash him through the heart. So naturally, I challenged his murderer to a duel. But he gave me this. Oh, on both sides, wow. I was 11 years old. Oh my gosh. So the next time we meet, I will go up to the six-fingered man and say, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. You've been practicing that for so many years. I, I feel like in it. some it's other world, they would be really good friends. Conference. I certainly hope you find him someday. You seem a decent fellow. I hate to kill you. You seem a decent fellow. I hate to die. We already know he's a good swordsman. Oh, they might both be. Oh, you're using Bonetti's defense against me, huh? Oh, they're both having fun. Cute. You are wonderful. I've worked hard to become so. I admit it, you are better than I am. Why are you smiling? Because I know something you don't know. I am not left handed. You're amazing. I ought to be after 20 years. I'm not left handed either. Now it gets interesting. Oh, I'm glad that's there. Who are you? No one of consequence. I like both of them, so I don't want either of them to die. <laughs> ah! Can you just cut his hair? Since I can't have you following me, either. <laughs> oh, I thought he was about to slice his head off. <laughs> Inconceivable! Finish him! Your way! Oh, good. Pick up one of those rocks, get behind the boulder, the minute his head is in view, hit it with the rock! Sounds like a plan. I was not a sportsman now. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> I didn't expect that. I don't have to miss. <laughs> I believe you. Oh, that scared me. We face each other as God intended. Sportsman life. No weapons. Skill against your... My heart rate is elevated from that. I think the odds are slightly in your favor at hand fighting. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It's so my fault being the biggest and the strongest. I don't even exercise. You're still very strong. That did nothing. Oh, we're just hugging. How sweet. That's gotta hurt. How about one? Wow. Rest well, dream of large women. We're so nice to each other. It was. Oh. Mighty doing. He's involved now. Ranged all over. Oh, oh, we have more people. The winner followed those footprints toward Gilda. How did they get up there? 
with all those horses. Could this be a trap? I always think everything could be a trap. That's why I'm still alive. <clears throat> Smart way to live. It is down to you. It is down to me. If you wish her dead, by all means, keep moving forward. He made us a little nice charcuterie board. How sweet of him. Well, if there can be no arrangement, then we are at an impasse. You're no match for my brains. You're that smart. Have you ever heard of Plato, Aristotle, Socrates? Morons. Morons compared to me. you to a battle of wits. This should get interesting. It's called Iocane powder. It is odorless, tasteless, dissolves instantly in liquid, or deadly poisons known to man. Which one did he put it in? Where is the poison? Are you the sort of man who would put the poison into his own goblet or his enemy? Now, a clever man would put the poison into his own goblet, but only a great fool would reach for what he was given. So I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You made your decision then? <laughs> not this is much. literally my thought process when I'm overthinking anything. You've given everything away! I know where the poison yes. is! What in the world can that be? What? Where? Torn, I saw something. Is that no matter. Work? What's so funny? I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> After you're dead. Cheers. You guessed wrong. You only think I guessed wrong. I switched glasses when your back was turned. Please <laughs> tell me he predicted this would happen. Did predict this would happen. All that time it was your cup that was poisoned. They were both poisoned. Oh. I spent the last few years building up an immunity to Iocane powder. That's wise of you for this exact situation. Whatever you ask for ransom, you'll get it, I promise you. The promise of a woman, you're very funny, Highness. There's no greater hunter than Prince Humperdinck. He can track a falcon on a cloudy day, he can <laughs> find you. His name is gonna make me laugh every time. I never said he was my dearest love. He knows I do not love him. I'm not capable of love is what you mean. I have loved more deeply than a killer like yourself could ever dream. That was a warning, Highness. Please don't hit her. She is alive. Or was an tracker. hour ago. If she is otherwise, when I find her, I shall be very put out. <laughs> I know who you are. You're the dread pirate Roberts. Admit it. With pride. You kill my love. I kill a lot of people. Who was this love of yours? A farm boy. Poor. You mock my pain. Life is pain, Highness. Anyone who says differently is selling something. I remember this farm boy of yours, I think. He died well. He simply said, please. I asked him what was so important for him. True love for your time. You should bless me for destroying him before you found out what you really are. When you found out he was gone, did you get engaged to your prince that same hour, or did you wait a whole week out of respect for the dead? I died that day! Mm. You can die too, Carla. Oh. As you wish! What have I done? Ow. Oh. <laughs> oh. She's gonna go down too. Oh. This is really steep. This sa there's the sounds they're making. It makes it so much better. Can you move at all? Move? If you want, I can fly. True love. Why didn't you wait for me? You were dead. But you were dead. Death cannot stop true love. True love! No, no, no. please. Kissing again. <laughs> this is Do a kissing book. Do you the kissing book? Wesley and Buttercup raced along the ravine floor. Now I'm hating that she's wearing a red dress because it's going to be very easy for them to find her. Exactly. Most will be safe in the fire swamp. Safe? We'll never survive. In the fire swamp? You're only saying that because no one ever has. That doesn't sound very safe. Okay, it doesn't look very fiery. Looks like we could survive this. What was that, that sound? <laughs> The look she's giving him. <laughs> okay, that's where the fire, the fire in fire swamps comes from. That was an adventure. This is fun. Oh, it kind of gives you a warning. That's nice. It's Robert Ship Revenge. It's anchored at the far end. Fire! Fire's coming! Fire's coming! What I told you before about saying please was very kind to give a little warning. Roberts and I eventually became friends. But Roberts had grown so rich he wanted to retire. He told me his secret. I am not the Dread Pirate Roberts, he said. My name is Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. The real Roberts has been retired. Oh, so 15 when he said years, that he was living like a king in Patagonia. The Dread Pirate Roberts. He wasn't wrong. No one would surrender to the Dread Pirate Wesley. Yeah, <laughs> true. Or the Dread Pirate Ryan. I shall retire and hand the name over to someone else. 
What? Oh, it like fully, it fully took her. Oh, he has to go after her. <laughs> How deep does it go? You gonna make it out? What? What is that? What was that? Okay, good. <laughs> that was a little scary for a second. Oh, it's back. Oh, it's back. That's not cute. What about the R.O.U.S.'s? Rodents of unusual size? I don't think they exist. <laughs> no! I was so focused on what R.O.U.S. meant, but I didn't expect that. Oh, okay. It's getting him. Ew, ew, the child. This thing is gross. Oh, there's fire, there's fire, there's fire. Good timing. Okay. I think it's done now. His arm. Is that so terrible? Surrender. Rada? You mean wish to surrender to me? Don't make yourself a fool. Will you promise not to hurt him? What was that? What was that? <laughs> what if was we that? surrender, promise to return him to his ship. I swear it will be done. Can we? Can we trust his word? And throw him in the pit of despair. I yeah, swear it will can't be done. trust his word. We must get you to your ship. Mm, that's not what you're going to do. What is it? You have six fingers on your right hand. He's Someone the six-fingered man. Oh. It's really easy to just knock people out in this movie. <laughs> Where am I? The pit of despair. Ah! <clears throat> Don't even think about trying to escape. <laughs> then I'm here till I die. So I kill you. Yeah. Oh, I thought Pit of Despair. I didn't expect this. I don't know what I expected, but not this. I can cope with torture. <laughs> I think he enjoys the torture. Nobody withstands the machine. Time out. What's the machine? Before the father window, one buttercup and hump dink were married. My father's oh, final words married. were... No. Hold it. She doesn't marry Humperdinck. She marries Wesley. Life isn't always fair. I love how the kid is I'm telling you, you're messing now. up the story. At noon, she met her subjects again, this time as their queen. Queen Buttercup. Bell! If you had love in your hands and you gave it up... But they would have killed Wesley if I had... Wait, how did, how did she know that, though? Through love. Saved her in the fire swamp and she treated it like garbage. Bow to the queen of slime, the queen of filth. It's very harsh. <sighs> oh. It was 10 days till the wedding. The okay. king still oh. lived. That means that they haven't gotten married yet. Didn't I tell you she'd never married? The kid was right. <laughs> yes, you're very smart. I love Wesley. I always have. Please believe I will be dead by morning. I could never cause you grief. Consider our wedding off. You he um, went, so... return this. I don't trust him. You write four copies of a letter. I'll send my four fastest ships. We'll run up the white flag and deliver your message. Please consider me as an alternative mm. to suicide. He's still being a little slimy. But when I hired Vazini to have her murdered on our engagement day, I thought that was clever. What? Once Gilder is blamed, the nation will be truly outraged. They'll demand we go to war. I want a freaking war. Are you coming down into the pit? I've got my country's 500th anniversary to plan, my wife to murder, and Gilda <laughs> to frame for it. Get some rest. What a great You haven't got your prince. hands, you have got anything. Whatever he is. Or that's the machine. Oh, no. Either way, I don't like the machine. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? Mm, no. it? Took me half a lifetime to invent it. Maybe you shouldn't have. I'll use the lowest setting. I'm very confused with how this machine works, but no matter what, it doesn't look fun. Wait, that was just the lowest As setting. you know, the concept of the suction pump is centuries old. I've just sucked oh. one year of your life away. How do you feel? <laughs> Awful? Interesting. Make a note of that. Is everybody out? Almost. There's a spider giving us some trouble. <laughs> I am waiting oh, for you, Vicini. Is he a little where I am? intoxicated? Is where yeah. I, will stay. Oh. I hope Not you can still Vicini. fight when you're drunk. You brute, come here! Surely I'm a meanie. 
Hi, friend. Hello. <laughs> you don't look so good. You don't smell so good either. <laughs> I feel fine. Fezzik and Inigo were reunited. Fezzik took great care in reviving Inigo. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. Where is this Rogan now? He's with the pranks in the castle. How many could you handle? I don't think more than ten. I believe in you. You can take more than that. Even twenty for me. <laughs> we can do fifteen and fifteen. At my best I could never defeat that many. The man in black. Oh, we need Wesley. We have to go get him. He bested me with steel. He must have outfought Vicini. Let's go. Where? There will be blood tonight. But again, how are they going to find him? He's kind of in a tree, in a pit, in a tree. Every ship in my armada waits to accompany us on our honeymoon. Every ship but the four you sent? Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. of course. But you never sent the ships. Nope. Wesley will come for me anyway. You were nothing but a coward with a heart full of fear. And when I say you're a coward, that is only because you are the slimiest weakling ever to crawl the earth. I would not say such things if I were you. Is he gonna like lock her in a room? Yup. Okay. You truly love each other. Not one couple in a century has that chance, no matter what the storybooks say. One couple in a century? Not to 50! Oh, oh my gosh. We only did level one the first time. We're gonna take 50 years off his life? What the heck? But everyone's hearing it, so they might be able to find him. That is the sound of ultimate suffering. His true love is marrying another tonight. So who else has the cause for ultimate suffering? Well, there's kind of a machine involved this time, but yeah. Okay, now I'm kind of glad that Wesley was screaming. Yeah, it's so easy I'm to sorry, knock people Nicole. out in this I movie. I didn't mean to drive him so hard. I cannot find them alone. I need you to guide my sword. Oh, that's the tree. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I can't believe that worked. He's dead. What? <laughs> Just says no fire. What did Fezzik mean he's dead? I mean... I think he means he's dead. I mean... You want me to read this or not? Who kills Prince Hopperding? Is it Inigo he who? He's so invested. He lives. Jesus, Grandpa, what did you read me this thing for? <laughs> Why did you get me invested? Joey! He's just carrying him with one arm. What? What? Are you the Miracle Max who worked for the king all those years? Beat it, or I'll call the Brute Squad. I'm on the Brute Squad. You are the Brute oh. Squad. He's already dead. He is, huh? I'll take a look. Bring him in. <laughs> Looks I've dead to voice. me. Well, we're in a terrible rush. <laughs> Don't rush me, Sonny. You got money? 65. I never worked for so little, except once, and that was a very noble cause. This is a very noble cause. Well, it just so happens that your friend here is only mostly dead. Hey! <laughs> Hello in there! <laughs> hey, what you got here that's worth living for? A girl. Ooh, love. True love is the greatest thing in the world. He distinctly said to blave. Liar! Liar! Get back, witch! I'm not a witch, I'm your wife! Ever since Prince Humperdinck fired him, his confidence is shattered. <laughs> <laughs> a very scary name. This is Buttercup's true love. If you heal him, he will stop Humperdinck's wedding. I make him better. Humperdinck's office. Yeah. Hi, little lick And okay, now we have some motivation. That is a noble cause. He's still just holding him with one arm. Have fun storming the castle. We take a miracle. Bye bye. <laughs> well, I hope we have a miracle. How long do we have to wait? I hope he before it's the miracle it. walks. I'll oh. beat you apart. I'll take you both together. It's not very long. Why won't my arms move? You've been mostly dead all day. <laughs> Buttercup is Mary Humper a little less than half an hour. So all we have to do is get in. It doesn't leave much time for dilly dallying. There is but one working castle gate. If I had a month to plan, maybe I could come up with something for this. I mean, if we only had a wheelbarrow, that would be something. <laughs> Marriage. Marriage is what brings us together. Today. Everything seems so serious, so perfect. Oh. I'm the twin fire No! Light him. Fire? Thanks. 
Let's not survive! Okay, this plan is working. Skip to the end. Have you the way? Let's lift it back up. Thank you. I killed him myself. Then why is there fear behind your eyes? Give us the gay key. I have no gay key. Throw his arms off. Oh, you need <laughs> this gay key. <laughs> oh, this one that I have in my pocket. Say man and wife. Man and wife. Escort the bride to the honeymoon suite. I'll be there shortly. Did you kill her? He didn't come. He will. He's on his way. He's definitely on his way. Here they come. Count his fingers. It's him. Now it's just the two of us. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. The line he's been rehearsing for years. What? <gasps> I expected, you know, a sword fight. <laughs> Not for him to run away. Thank you. What was that? Means I'm killing myself once we reach the honeymoon suite. Mm. Wouldn't that be nice? <gasps> Must be that little Spanish brat I taught a lesson to all those years ago. Have you been tracing me your whole life only to fail now? He came so close. Don't do this. Wesley's here, kind of. There's a shortage of perfect breasts. It would be a pity to damage yours. Wesley. Oh, Wesley, don't! I'm so glad he was in the room. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Oh my gosh, now he's been stabbed three times. You killed my father. Here to die. Prepare to die. He's not okay. Stop stabbing him! Prepare to die. Stop saying that! Oh, offer me money. Yes. Power to promise me that. Please. He's doing the same offer thing. Offer me everything I ask for. Just killing him. I want my father back, you son of a oh, bitch. Finally. Here, I think he's dead. But are you okay? I got married. I didn't want to. It never happened. But it did. I was there. This old man said man and wife. Did you say I do? Oh. Sort of skipped that part. Then you're not yeah. married. Yay! You didn't say it. You didn't do it. Wouldn't you agree, your highness? Technicality that will shortly be remedied. Wesley can't Look exactly fight right now. No. no! To the pay. To the... I don't think I'm quite familiar with that phrase. I'll explain. <laughs> I'm not either. To the pain means the first thing you lose will be your feet below the ankles. The next thing you lose will be your left eye, followed by your right. Your ears you keep. Every shriek of every child at seeing your hideousness will be yours to cherish. Okay. That is what to the pain means. I think you're bluffing. I'm only lying here because I lack the strength to stand. Then again, perhaps I have the strength after all. Does he? Like, your full strength? Drop your soul. Time up. Where's the first thing? I thought he was with you. In that case. Why does Wesley need helping? Because he has no strength. I knew it. I knew you were bluffing. I knew he was bluffing. Whatever happens to us, I want him to live a long life alone with his cowardice. I sit at the prince's table. Four white horses. There are four of us. <laughs> we will find the lady. And we did. Hello, lady. <laughs> Hello. You did something right. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. I wanted to go to my head. Yeah. I have been in the revenge business so long. I don't know what to do with the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. Make a wonderful <laughs> trip out, Roberts. Oh, is he gonna be the next one? Oh, okay. They're actually getting away. I was really afraid that the prince would do something, but I guess I guess we're good. And as they reach for each other. Nah, it's kissing Nothing again. Is. You don't want to hear that. <laughs> I don't mind so much. There have been five kisses that were rated the most passionate. This one left them all behind. The end. Grandpa, maybe you could come over and read it again to me tomorrow. As you wish. <laughs> Cute. Mm. Mm. Okay. I do think 
that that is going to like stay on my list of one of my favorite movies of all time. So that was, that was so good. It was so fun. It literally had like everything that I enjoy in a movie. Like it had romance and friendship and it was really funny throughout. There was adventure and just, just all of it. I, I enjoyed that so much. I love this movie. I feel like it's going to be my go-to rainy day movie or when I'm sick, I'll watch it to cheer me up. I mean, honestly, I don't need a reason. I don't need an excuse to watch it, but that was, that was, I love this movie. I, I'm kind of glad that I watched it for the first time as an adult. Cause I think if I watched it as a kid, a lot of stuff would go over my head. Like a lot of the comedy bits. This is now one of my favorite movies. Um, just everything about it. It's perfect. Well, that was The Princess Bride. <laughs> what a good movie. I, I just can't, I can't get over this. Well, that was The Princess Bride. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time.